Bonjour et bienvenue. Today we're going to talk about the 10 reasons of why it's great to live in France. First, I want to start by maybe one of the most obvious points, and it's about the food. French gastronomy is something. Fromage, cheese. I know it's maybe hard to like French cheese when you're a foreigner or a child, but when you dive into it, then you can fall in love and you're gonna need your French cheese at the end of every meal. But not just the cheese. You have all the specialties from bakery, you know, all the pâtisserie. If you're going to Lyon, you can have les bouchons lyonnais. Maybe it's really a big topic, so I need another video to talk just about French food. Then we have the beauty of this country. In this small land, you have a lot of different landscapes. You have mountains, you have oceans, you have countryside, you have everything you need for your eyes. And even in this kind of specific landscapes, they are really different if you're on the south, on the east, on the northwest. For instance, the ocean on the west, you have the big waves, you can go surf. La Côte d'Azur, for instance, in the southeast of France, is more about chill, peaceful, no waves. It's Mediterranean Sea but it's really great, maybe more if you're rich. Even for the mountains, for instance, my favorites are Les Pyrenees in the southwest, close to the Spain country, and they are absolutely amazing. But if you need to go to ski, for instance, you're going to the Alps rather, or if you want to go to small hikes, you're going to Auvergne with all the volcanoes. Even for the countryside, if you're going to La Provence, it's gonna be lavanda everywhere. If you're going to the southwest again, it's gonna be about wine yards everywhere. If you're going more in the center, it's gonna be just about the farms and the cows. So you have a diversity of landscapes, which is amazing. You don't have to travel outside of your country just to see different places. Also, French has a big history. And as an architectural lover, you have a lot of different buildings, amazing, old churches everywhere, and not just in Paris. You can go to Marseille and you can see one of the oldest cities in Europe. Because of the different areas, the architecture is different. Also, L system is pretty cheap. For instance, even if you don't have the local insurance, when you want to go to the doctor, it's maybe approximately 25 euros. So I know it's pretty cheap. It's not the best. Of course, we saw it a lot during the pandemic, we lack of people and money in our hospitals. But compared to other countries, we're not that bad. I think you can come and be chill if you have an accident. If you're a sport lover, I think France is one of the best country for you. Soccer is one of the sports which are the most watched by French people. But not only. For instance, there is also rugby. We have a lot of places to do sport, and that's pretty cheap compared to different countries. And especially you can have a lot of help from the region. Even during summer, for instance, you have different organizations which are gonna play in, in your city to play handball, volleyball, etc. So I think you can have fun while coming here. Another great point to live in France is French. It's an international language. We have 321 million speakers in the world. It's the fifth one. Then, for those who like to hang out during the evening and the night, I think France is a great country. You can go have fun with friends in a bar. You can go to a rendezvous with a charming person in a restaurant. You can go to cinema. You have a lot of different places. Also, one of the greatest points, I think, is you can travel to almost every country in Europe pretty easily. And flights are pretty cheap, but if you want to be careful with your carbon footprint, buses are also pretty cheap. You can go to UK on the north, you can go to the south, to Spain and Portugal or Italy in the west, you can go to Austria, Germany, Switzerland. You have so many countries and they are pretty close to each other and because they are not that big compared to North America or Russia and China, you can travel pretty easily, you know, you don't need days to cross a country. So it's pretty great. You can dive into a new culture, meet new people, speak a different language. 
in just few hours. Also, something else which is pretty great is the fees you have to pay if you want to be a student. Of course, you have some private school, but uh, in the public, it's free or almost free. I know in other countries it could be really expensive and you have to ask the bank to help you pay your fees. Of course, maybe my degree is not one of the best of the world, but at least I didn't have to start my working life with paying the bank every month. So I think it's a chance. And of course, French education system sometimes has a lot of critics. But the fact it's free, I think it's really a chance. Maybe another point is the people. I mean, of course, if you're going to Paris and you're just chatting with some Parisians who are, you know, really upset and in a hurry, you're gonna have a bad feeling about French. But if you're going more into the countryside, into some little cities, you can meet great people, I think which are gonna welcome you. Another good thing is the weather. You won't have an extreme winter, for instance. You won't have snow unless you're living in some mountains part of France. So I think for some people who don't like extreme weather, you can be fine. Except during summer, maybe, it could be a bit tough with climate change. Another good thing that I really like is museums. You don't have just Le Louvre. You have museums everywhere in France, a lot of them are free, and I think you have European treasure for centuries, so that's really something great if you want to come and live there. Another point is festivals. Could be about music, could be about cinema, especially during summer, there are a lot of festivals. Sometimes, even in the streets, some people are like playing in a band, like when you're going to Les Ferias in the southwest, so I think you're gonna have a lot of fun. And sometimes it's not that expensive. So that's it. I think I gave you some key points about why it's great to live in France. I know it's not perfect. I'm French, so I know it's far from being perfect. But that's why maybe you can check my other video.